in this video we are going to see a worksheet functions how we can select single sheet or worksheet how we can select multiple sheets or worksheet we will be all also seeing uh, how we can uh, select sheets using array function a bit introduction to the array as well so let's move ahead and see how this function works and how they are executed First topic in this video is how to select uh, sheets or or worksheets the, the tabs which are in the excel sheet currently my sheet has four uh, four tabs or you can say four worksheets or sheets so how we can select this uh, sheets through vba coding so let's start i already in inserted a module and i will name a module my as sub select sheets and create some space then what i can do so you can select uh, your worksheets by writing a keyword that is w work sheets this will refer to the worksheet object then you will start the braces or parentheses and then you will mention the name of that particular sheet so my sheet name is 2017 sales i will copy these names just to reduce and i will put a double quotation here then i will paste my sale uh, my sheets name then again double quotation and parenthesis or this is close so then i can put a dot operator and then i will put a select sign select so this is how it will select my sheet so this is one way to select your workbook or worksheet so now if let's run this code let me put my sheet here so that we can see the changes let's run this we can run this through uh, uh, step by step through um, f8 function uh, f8 function key uh, uh, so now it should as you can see my sheet has automatically moved from sheet 3 to 2017 sales sheet this is how you can select a single sheet you can also select sheets uh, by referring to sheets this is start double quotation same formula and then you can copy the copy the name of that sheet and paste here double quotation bracket close dot activate you can put activate or select both will work there is no difference in in both of them so now let's run this query and see it's working or not but we are in 2017 sales now we should move to 2016 sales and it's working fine so these are the two ways to select there is another way to select a cell sorry to select a workbook that is if you have named your sheet in the um, uh, in, in the VV editor visual basic editor for example this one you can see the, the name is a bit different SL underscore 2017 so this name here the first names this name name can only be written in the VV editor so if I want to write this one so go to the project X properties in the, in the project Explorer and name it as my sheet and hit enter you can see the name has changed here this name will only be visible in visual basic editor and you can use this so what I can do you can use it now now you have indirectly created a object that is my sheet and directly you can refer here that is my sheet dot select you can see how easy it is now let's run and see it's working or not again by pressing the f5 keyword sorry f8 to st to move step by step and you can see it's working fine so this is how you can select single sheets so 
this is the this is the way you you can select single uh, single uh, sheets there are there are there are three ways to select select and activate both are optional you can uh, you can choose any one of them the three ways how to select single sheet now let's move to uh, how to select multiple sheets in one line of code now we will see how to uh, select multiple sheets so while selecting multiple sheet you must have seen that the name extension here changes to group let me just show you so I select this and by holding control key and click on 2016 sales name then you can see it has changed to group so th th this will happen when we we select uh, the sheets through VBA so let me just start writing my subroutine name as select multi sheets so this is my name and now I what I can do I can write worksheets braces start double quotation and name of that sheet 2017 sales then double quotation versus close dot select so now to select multiple sheets we need we need to put here false sign so this will this will activate the group function similarly what we can do we can write on select 2016 seat also just let me copy and modify it bit 16 so now let's try this that is it working or not okay it has selected 2016 2017 you can see it has selected all the three sheets which were activated in which were in active mode so this is how this is one way to select the sheets you can also use and uh, the way and uh, that sheets start double quotation VTS sheet one dot select false sheets sheet three dot select false if you use a true in the place of false then then this will deactivate the group uh, function let me just write here so that we know it work sheets 2017 17 sales dot select true so true will deactivate the group uh, function and the false will make it continue let's check this how it can work it is selected now as you can see it has deactivated entire group function true and now in the false again by this method also we can select and see this is how you can select how you can select multiple sheets now if we uh, for selecting if, for example if you have 20 uh, sheets to select then you have to keep writing this uh, line of codes but there is a way uh, easier way to select the sheets what we can do we can just eliminate this we can use a array function to select multiple sheets so how we can do that we can just write worksheet or sheets it's your choice this is start and then you can write array array we will discuss in elaborate in detail in the following videos in upcoming videos for now just you, you have to know that array can hold multiple things multiple variables or object variables so let's start it to the currently this array will hold multiple sheets for me so what I can do similarly I can write the names of 2017 sales versus close comma 2016 sales double quotation i just missed one double quotation here in the starting and comma then i can can i can put sheet three double quotation i again missed the double quotation here in the starting and in the end what we can do we can close the braces twice dot 
select it's much easier now let's check this how it works let me run this you can see in one go it has selected all the three sheets mentioned in this array so this is how you can select multiple sheets uh, multiple sheets and there are there are three options uh, you can use array or you can use worksheets or sheets function whichever suits to you and whichever you understand in a better way that's all in this video do like subscribe comment and share my videos and channel please let me know if you have any question or query put them in comment section and i will more than happy to answer them and work on it and reply to you have a good time enjoy